What's going on guys and welcome back to another GTR restoration video. <sighs> Man, you guys can maybe tell from the current situation inside this garage, I have slowly been packing my stuff away. I have about 13 boxes of GTR parts and I mean, there's a lot more boxes at the shop. So I'm in the works of trying to get everything packed up and moved. It is so much work. I can't wait till this is all over. I really cannot because this is extremely stressful and I am not about it. So much still left to do, still working on the customer cars, of course. However, I did get a bit of work done over the past weekend, but that's not what you guys are here for. So today we are enjoying some more GTR restoration content, picking up right where we left off in the last video by basically once we dropped off that major part of the frame rail. So we're continuing with that and uh, things come out really good. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll catch you guys up at the end. Let's take a peek at what we got going on underneath here. Oh, hang on, it's a little tricky to, the floor itself isn't awful. This is what I was held up onto, that one spot weld and this, this little guy right there. <laughs> but yeah, all in all, I mean, rust is to a minimal. Rust is to a minimal. So that's really good. We do have some up here, and uh, obviously this is the spot where I rebuilt all this stuff, so nothing's finished, so don't you worry. We'll get that all cleaned up, looking really good. But you guys should have seen, I'm sure some of you guys remember how, uh, how non-existent this whole back corner used to be. Yeah, check that out. Oh, how's this looking? Oh, man. Oh, it's all so rusty as hell up in here. <laughs> I was hoping to avoid, and in here, I was hoping to avoid having to do what I did on the other side, on this side. Minimal rust, man. Damn. All right, well, I guess uh, I'm gonna get to uh, buzzing this whole area down. Damn, that really sucks up there, dude. I'm really not surprised, but it just sucks. <laughs> So as I go ahead and clean up the rust, I know you guys have been asking me about what tools I use and how I go about cleaning things up and just about the process in general. I will be making a video pretty soon just going over all the basic tools that I use. It's nothing too fancy. You guys can do this all yourself at home if you wanted to. So I'll have a video coming up pretty soon just showing you guys how to do all this stuff at home and hopefully it should help some of you guys out. All right, well, I haven't been here in a few days, but uh, we're getting close to be able to put that rail on. I think we should be, I guess, good to get the primer and the weld through on there. So let's uh, jump underneath the car. I'm gonna show you guys how the floor is looking and how it turned out, and then uh, we'll go through our steps and uh, get this rail on the car. Let's get to it. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Sorry, I can't get it all the way over there. Link seems to like it. I like it, I think it came out really good. Obviously, don't worry about the surrounds. We're just focusing on one area at a time. So everything in between the two spot weld holes that you guys can see is all treated, cured, and uh, ready, for some, uh, ready for some primer. So let's go ahead, apply that. And uh, it's just funny looking at these two side by side. Oh, wow. Huge shout out to Stacked, man. I. I'm so grateful for them. This is insane. The fact that they were able to source me brand new rails. I mean, I'm pretty confident that you guys cannot get these anymore. Lincoln, isn't that true? Is that true, Link? Link. Yeah. Oh, Stacks, thank you guys. You guys make, you guys are making dreams possible out here. The only thing that's unfortunate is the rear subframe mount isn't attached on the new one. Luckily, the front one is. Anyway, all right, I'm going to continue. All right, well that holds me up a little bit. Completely forgot about that spot. So yeah, obviously I'm not gonna go ahead and put my rail in with all that rust hiding up in there. And you know, I do have to remove a little bit of this portion out as well. I really wanted to avoid that at the moment until I got the rail in. Let me think, let me do some thinking. I'll be right back. 
All right, here's the game plan. So you guys can see I got my area marked out. Uh, only reason I'm chopping all this out, first reason obviously just to fix this area right here, you guys can see that's pretty toast. I'm gonna go ahead and continue and remove this whole piece out. Luckily it's on the outside and uh, should be pretty simple. And then uh, with this out the way, I should be able to get everything taken care of and get the rail in place. So let's get to it. Just wanted to take a minute and thank you guys that are still watching. I know this build has kind of been a long, tedious process of just a lot of rust getting repaired, but you know, it's just part of it and I'm really dedicated to building and creating a really beautiful skyline when I'm create when I'm done with this. You know, I love this car so much and it's teaching me a lot and I'm really looking forward to showing you guys the end result. So I do thank you guys if you are able, if you are interested in buying some merch, donating to my GoFundMe for the move and the new shop and equipment, anything helps guys. So please, links down below, really do appreciate you guys. That's all I got for now though. Enjoy the video. This series can be hit in any series of moves. Outstanding numbers. Wear that truth. Trigger guarded by Curtis. And opposition points in the pants. This case really wants to be the transition noted like not the rotation for long series. Alright guys, so quick update here. I bolted up my rotisserie jig for the back because I figured, well, this rail was positioned exactly where it came from when we put it back in, so that's a good starting point. And this square section here fits directly, perfectly inside the chassis. It's a pretty nice snug fit. And they do kind of bottom out at the back ends there. So uh, with that bolted in, obviously this side has nowhere else to go but to fit where it needs to be. So that's all looking good. I'm really happy with how this is positioned up. I got a few, spot, uh, few spots all zipped up with some tack screws. Everything is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and just toss a few more tack in here and um, yeah man this is this is exciting this is really exciting it all lines up good connecting up with the rest of the of the, the floor rail up front because they obviously tie in together so those line up great I'm happy no more talking let's get back to working all right She's, I mean, she's kind of tacked in lightly. Really happy with this, man. It uh, lined up absolutely perfectly, which I was a little bit afraid of, I'll be honest. Not that I was worried that like the frame, it, like the, uh, actually, I'll be honest. I, I, was, I was afraid that this might've been a little bit tweaked or something, uh, which would then result in this not really lining up where it should. Uh, the way I lined it up before I took some measurements and um, along with those measurements, I just kind of made a few templates based off of where I drilled through. The reason why those are important is because, well, those are gonna exactly match up with the holes we drilled to remove it. So uh, all that makes sense to me. I'm sure it makes sense to you. And um, everything lined up awesome. So really happy with that. And um, yeah, man, just really good. It's just really good. I did make sure because uh, a natural position of this rail, it kind of wants to drop in the bottom so I made sure to take measurements of how high in relationship the rail is uh, to my measurement point to make sure that um, you know I have the correct amount of tension pushing up on the floor and kind of pulling everything up uh, that it should be. In theory, in my mind, that all makes sense. 
obviously being mindful about heat dispersion and adding heat to the panels so we're kind of going slow and using heat sinks so uh, no need to worry guys like this is we're all we're, I'm thinking about this process the entire way uh, and obviously I want to make sure it's it's you know done correctly and um, yeah I'll, I'll be honest like once we get this thing back up on the rotisserie or I should say even when it's done uh, you'll never even be able to notice that anything was even done, repaired, touched, replaced, nothing. So that's the whole goal here. So, yep, just wanted to update y'all. Coming along real good. Okay, sorry I'm back. But after looking at this thing for like another 15 minutes, I um, I don't know. I don't think I'm fully fully pleased yet. So I'm just comparing some of my spot weld holes to my other rail that I removed. And I'm actually noticing that up here, I can actually see daylight. I don't know if I'm able to even show you. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's day, there's light right there. So that means that there's obviously a gap. Um, so the rail needs to push over that way. And that would actually also explain, because I noticed that my seat belt bolts right here, the, the nuts are kind of off skew and off to the top right. Now, if I pry this corner down with my like a little tool, it moves all those um, those points down. Now, in all honesty, it doesn't really matter. Um, I can still get a bolt through those holes even though they are a little bit off. But I would like to try and at least get this back where it came from, you know what I mean? As you can now see, maybe, hopefully, those, uh, those nuts for the seat belt, I think, I'm pretty sure those are seat belt ones, could be wrong. Absolutely perfect now. Um, and now nothing has gaps. Uh, I'm now just looking at this spot weld in particular. This one right there. And you can see it's just in the edge, just in the edge of the frame rail. So if we go into this, to the new rail, it's hard to tell. But we are right on the, you guys won't be able to tell. We are right on the edge. So. I'm happy with that. At least that way, this uh, the actual subframe mount bracket and the stud uh, should be able to line up and go back where it needs to uh, based off how it sits on the rail here. So as long as this point right here that we looked at is good and uh, this one back here is good, I'm gonna be happy with the placement. But luckily, it all worked out pretty well and uh, just needed some moving, moving some things around. Didn't panic. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's all looking much better now and it fits up much nicer. I'm much happier with that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna sleep better for sure, knowing that this is in its happy spot. So I'm really happy with that, stoked on that. So now uh, I think I'm gonna call it for today, guys. It's already like 10 o'clock at night, long day. <sighs> looking good though. You know, I'm, I'm just sitting here. I've just been looking at the car for a couple minutes and uh, it's, it's just wild to think about the journey. Um, I mean, this thing isn't even the same car anymore, like in the best way possible, you know what I mean? Like it's just, obviously for those of you that have been with me and watching for a while, just know what a, I don't even know what to call it, an experience this has been. <laughs> uh, good and bad times, of course, but you know, I've, I've mentioned probably once or twice before now that, uh, you know, this car is kind of like a blessing in disguise. and. You know, some people always say it's not always the destination, it's the journey. Um, and man, my journey has been pretty up and down and recently pretty much on a downward motion. And, and getting back into this is just, um, it's starting to get me back on an upward climb. So it's, it's just really cool. And I'm just looking at things and just like the rockers being on there and how clean the interior of the floor is and the door is on. Even though it's not on, it's 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 on the car, and it's just it's just really cool to see how far this thing has gone. And I literally have done every single piece of it, like everything, every single thing. It's just um, it's just really cool. So I don't know, maybe that may help you guys. It's just a such it's an undescribable feeling. I don't know, and it's not even done yet. It's gonna be great when it's done, man. Anyway, sorry, I just wanted to, I just had a moment right there. I gotta also apologize guys for the late video today. Last night at the shop, I didn't even get home till about 1.30 in the morning. I was gonna go ahead and edit. I was there all day. I was gonna come back and edit, had some food. I took a quick 30 minute nap on the couch. 30 minutes turned into three hours. 
Woke up at 4.35 o'clock in the morning, started the edit on the video, and uh, here we are. So I do apologize for the late video, but um, hope you guys enjoy it anyway. So I'm gonna keep doing my thing over here, keep on grinding, and uh, hopefully get everything set up to be ready to move here in the next couple weeks because I am, uh, that's pretty much all the time I have. So if you guys missed the last video as far as where I'm moving, what's coming up next, go ahead and check that out. But. A lot of changes man and uh man it's uh but yeah it's it's a stressful time i'm gonna keep grinding keep doing my thing and i'll catch you guys up in the next video thanks for watching